you can now completely customize the PDFs that you can create based on your meal plan templates. I've got a couple of templates here and beneath the templates, there are all these PDF printing options now. So you can upload your own logo. You can put in your own footer text and default title and introduction text. And here, you know, I'm just putting some default um, uh, copy in here so that we can see where it sits in the printout. So the custom header page, you can upload a single page PDF and you can uh, have that as the front page of your meal plan in case you want to do something very fancy in Canva then or whatever other um, illustration software you use. And then here you can you, uh, add or remove different content sections. So here you've got your macros and your timeline. And then this is a really fun part of the whole thing, the theme colors. So we created some color groups here, obviously uh, some fun names and Home School Pink is obviously our favorite. I'm gonna to return to the Real Plans theme, but this is designed for you to be able to change um, all the colors in the meal plan to really make it feel like your own and pick colors that match your logo. So in these little question marks, we explain what header one, header two, highlight and body text color mean, you know, like that. But we'll have a look at that in a minute when we look at the printout. So these are all your default settings. Let's go into Paleo Heaven. So each template now has this new button called PDF Options. So here's my template. I could add notes, I could do whatever I want to it. And then I click on PDF Options and I can override the title, override the introduction text, override the header page for this particular one if I'm not wanting the default. And then this is a super interesting field, the start date. If I'm wanting to do, let's say, a group, um, meal planning uh, session with a number of people. You can just put it, and it's all gonna start on July the 1st. You can put July the 1st in here, and then the meal plan will accordingly, for as many weeks, show the correct date uh, on your meal plan. But more often than not, a lot of these PDFs are used for evergreen meal plans, meaning this is an asset that you can use, as there's no real plans branding on the, the meal plan at all you can use these as assets on your website for, let's say, uh, email connection. Uh, you could say, hey, get my free meal plan in exchange for an email. Or you could just send it to clients when they're asking, you know, what, what your services include. You can say, hey, these are the kind of meal plans that you'll be working with, and this will be inside a, a meal planning software that you can adjust any of this stuff to suit your liking and the shopping list or change, etc. So, really great uh, opportunity here to create a lot of good sales and marketing assets. You, your print week here, you can decide which week you want to print. If you have a four week template, then you can pick which week and you print each week one at a time. Then you click print. And here it is, here's the PDF. So in your browser, you'll see a file that's been downloaded. You just click on the file. And here's the logo. This is the header one color and my default title. Here's the highlight color. Here's my body text color. And here is a super fun thing. It shows the first three recipes in the meal plan in this beautifully photogenic way and presents itself as the front cover, which of course will be super relevant each time you have, you know, you're dealing with someone with a different diet type and everything else. This is going to show uh, recipes that they can actually eat and are contained within the plan. Then there's the meal plan summary, which, as you'll recognize, um, is no different really to the interface that we have in real plans, and that's by design. We want people to relate to the laptop version, rather, of the meal plan. So then you have a recipe list with some page numbers. These page numbers aren't clickable. However, we do have bookmarks set up inside this PDF, so if they're opening it up, they can open up the bookmarks and they can click to the correct recipe. Then there's a shopping list and a timeline here and all of the recipes. Now, we worked super hard to try and reduce the amount of paper that um, we're using in these printouts. And so 
the recipes here are all there are multiple recipes on one page and you'll see that the recipes are not always in the same chronological order as the meal plan and that's because we're moving things around there's a lot of code that's trying to cram as many recipes as we can um, onto a single page so that when someone does go and print it out they're not using up a whole uh, packet of paper so these are all the recipes and um, then you have your macros so uh, oh this this section here is probably a good section to explain all the colors so this is header one this is header two this is the highlight color, and this is the body text color. So the same color scheme moves throughout the entire meal plan and creates a really beautiful uh, printout. So I hope this is helpful. Um, have lots of fun creating your colors and setting this up so that it really feels like something that you want to present to your community.